Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to title this, but I got a couple of things that was given to me, and I'm going to make a video out of it while I have them. Starting off first, y'all go ahead. A, a, a family member sent me some oxtail seasoning, Caribbean oxtail seasoning. So what it is, I said, I'm going to use this. I had my friend. Y'all know I got a friend of mine. I've been known for about 12 years. He got a cow ranch between Hempstead and Katie here, and he don't not like oxtails. He just throw he used to throw them away <clears throat> when he uh, harvest a cow. So he found out I like them. So what he do? He give me all the oxtails that I want. I never buy oxtails. I always have oxtails in my freezer. I eat oxtails all the time. People say, how you eat oxtails? They so dang expensive for me. I get them F R E E free. All I want. And another awesome thing that he does, he cleans them for me and everything, y'all. Cuss them and cleans them for me. And all he do, he'll text me or he'll call me and tell me, Mr. Jeffrey, I got some oxtail. You want to come pick them up? If I don't pick them up that day, he'll put them in the freezer. And he always call. I'd rather get them fresh like these is. So I picked these up yesterday. So I said, yeah, I'll just do a video. So I went and picked them up. It's like 50, about 20 minutes, not even 20 minute drive from my house. I go pick them up and he... Like I say, he has them. All I do every once in a while, he I'm sending some jelly. I'll take some jelly or some. So he loves chicken and dumplings. He's a big old boy too, big old country farmer. Yeah, so I just trade him out. Who trade you some chicken and dumplings for some oxtails? Oh yeah, anytime you want it. So anyway, what I'm gonna do, y'all? I'm gonna make them with some Caribbean seasoning. I guess Jamaican, same thing. I assume that this uh, that uh, that old school subscriber sent me. I never used this before. I don't know how spicy it's going to be or what. So I'm going to do the same kind of method that I would normally do for my oxtails with the flour and searing it off. But but the seasoning, this only seasoning I'm going to use, y'all, is right here. And I'm going to season it really, really good. Make sure you season with this really good. I don't even know if this going to be spicy. You know, a lot of Jamaican... Caribbean food got a little kick to it. I'm not a real spicy fan of spicy food, but we're going to see how this is. But I love Jamaican oxtails now. I love it. I think they're awesome. I think maybe that's where a good old, good old oxtails originated. So we're going to season it really, really good. It's just all seasoned up here, all on the sides. I'm going to say, I hope this ain't hot. If it is, I'm going to have some spice oxtail to give to my neighbors. I won't be able to eat it. Get them all seasoned up here, y'all. There we go. And like I said, I'm going to dust it in flour, and I'm doing it in my Instant Pot. I ain't going to do it in the Dutch oven. I'll do it the easy way in my Instant Pot. All right, there we go. Okay, y'all. Now... Got a little mess here. Let me clean this up right quick. Now I got my instant pot heating up on sear, on saute, so I can sear it right in the. Ooh, this got some. Ooh, it can make me sneeze. Here, y'all. Got some spices in this stuff. Hish, hish. Ooh, sorry about that. Oh yeah, they got some different spices in here that'll wake you up. Okay. Now, I got my oil heating up here. Now, yeah, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to dust it in flour. You can just probably sear this, but I like to dust it in flour. The reason is, y'all, because I want to use that flour to come off of there, mixed with the beef stock. That's going to make it a nice little gravy to go with my, uh, let me move y'all up here so y'all can see. All I'm going to do, y'all, Put this in here and sear it off in the uh, in the instant pot here. Okay, let's get this going. Just stick them right in there. We'll get a nice golden brown sear on all of them. And then when I come back, I'm gonna put them all back in there. I don't even have no onions for this. I ain't gonna put no onions on nothing, y'all. No garlic. We're gonna do some regular oxtail, just with the seasoning and a little Worcestershire. Maybe I put a little salt and pepper in there. 
But that's it. I'm going to let the Instant Pot do everything else. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all. Now, all I'm going to do now, y'all see I got that little residue in there? That's perfect, perfect, perfect. All I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to pour this uh, beef stock in there. Pour all that beef stock in there. Move that around in there, y'all. Put a little Worcestershire sauce in here. Gotta have some Worcestershire. And look, y'all, I'm not gonna put any at all um, um, salt and pepper. I'm gonna just use the seasoning on here. If it needs salt and pepper, I'll add it later. And uh, I'm not gonna put any more flour in this, nothing. I'm going to just let this do its thing just like this. So I'm going to put this, these, uh, I almost say pork chops. Oxtail right here in the beef stock. And we're going to let them do its thing just like this, y'all. Just like this. Submerge them off in that stock there. So y'all get in there submerged. much as possible it doesn't matter if they really submerge because uh and some pie gonna do its thing y'all see all this good uh this good seasoning right there i'm gonna scrape all that in there that's all flavor y'all put all the spices in there now i'm gonna set this for 90 minutes on meat setting let me turn this off and move y'all back here so i can see Turn this off. Okay. Now I put my top on here. Make sure it's sealed. It's sealed. Now we're gonna go down here. Me. 90 minutes already set. And let it do its thing, and I'm gonna let it do a slow release. Meaning I'm gonna let it release itself. So it'll probably let it do this for about two hours in the instant pot. And that's it, y'all. We're gonna come back. Open it up and see how, see how they taste. I'm gonna give me some white rice for it. And we're gonna see how this uh, Caribbean uh, oxtail seasoning that they sent me is. So we'll be right back, couple hours. All right, y'all, we are back here. I let this uh, Instant Pot slow release, made, like I say, it made let it release on its own. So I'm telling you one thing, y'all, I don't know how they look how they taste but they smell absolutely amazing my whole house just smells a different smell of aroma it's just indescribable but anyway let's get into this all right the lid up of here i see right now that i'm gonna need to add uh thicken up my my uh sauce so you can tell all the tender y'all with my gravy here I'm definitely going to have to thicken that up. And I'm going to thicken that up right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off. Turn this on saute. And y'all know my little, my little quick rule thick method. And this is what I'm going to do. Give me a little butter here. Let that start heating up. And I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, what I'm going to do first, y'all, I'm going to skim some of this oil off the top. Just a little of this grease off the top, y'all. I definitely don't want that oil in there. We definitely don't want the grease in there. We want all flavor, not oil, right? Get as much of that grease off the top as we can before we add our roux. Because you know, oxtails, even though we trim them, we still got a lot of fat on them. Y'all should know that already. So I'm going to trim all that fat. Okay, now I'm going to take my roux here. I'm just going to pour a little roux in here, y'all. 
to make this sticking this uh, gravy up. See, sticking this gravy up just a little, right in the pot. I don't want it too thick. See that? A little bit more. There we go. And all I did, y'all, was put it on the saute method. And look at that. Got the gravy right there. A little bit more. And that should do it, y'all. I'm going to let this simmer by one minute. Oh, yeah, y'all. This is, this is this is what it's at right here. That's what it's all about right there, y'all. Up over here, turn this off. And that should do it. Look at that, y'all. Look at this tin. Look at these oxtails, y'all. Look how tender they are. So tender you can't pick them up. See that? Look at that. So I'm gonna step off, y'all, and y'all know I transferred my instant pot items to uh Dutch oven. Get them out of here and wash this on up. And then I'll come back. I got me some mashed potatoes. Yeah, I like to eat mine with mashed potatoes, y'all. Uh, some people like eating with rice. So I'm gonna eat these with some mashed potatoes. So we will be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Should have used a bigger plate. Look at that now. Look at them oxtails. They so tender, y'all. <laughs> that they're completely just falling off the bone tender. Crawling off the bone tender. Look at this, how tender, just succulent. The meat is so succulent and tender. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, y'all. A seasoning. Mm. Look at the tenderness here. A seasoning, y'all, is amazing. It seems like it has a, got a little spice, but not much. Spice, not spice as in hot, but spice as in flavorful. It's a lot of spices going on in there. It got a little, seemed like a little citrusy taste to it. Let me taste again. Mm. A little tang in there. A slight little heat, but not much. Mm, mm, mm. And I definitely didn't need to add no salt and pepper. I'm telling y'all, these oxtails are falling off the bone. Tender. Let me show y'all. Look at that. Look at that. And that's when you know they're tender. Look at that. Look at that bone. That's when you know they're tender, y'all. You ain't got to try to get no meat off the bone. The meat is already off the bone. You ain't got to do nothing but enjoy your oxtails. No fighting with a bone, nothing like that. Hoping you're going to get all the meat off. That's one thing I like about the Instant Pot. It take care of that for you. You ever had ice cream? I had to suck the bone and try to get all the meat off. Mm -mm. Not with this. It's like eating a big comfort food of, of roast, pot roast. That's what it tastes like. But it's more succulent and juicier than pot roast, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Let me close the video and I can eat here later. Let me close this video. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please, let me show y'all the seasoning one more time. Because uh, I don't know where you get it at. I haven't even noticed it in stores. See that? Oxtail seasoning. Caribbean classic. It's even gluten-free, y'all. So, y'all want to go try to find it? Like I say, it's not spicy. It's really, really good. And I got a lot left over for I'm gonna get some more oxtail. I'm going to start using this. I'm sold on it. So if you like this video, please share. <clears throat> please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Patreon, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me go back here. The hashtag 2023 is just be kind to someone. Just be kind to others. 
I gotta get the hashtag right, y'all. It's new. It's the third, second video I've done. I'll get it right. Just show kindness. That's what it is. Just show some kindness. That's it. Just show some kindness. Four words. And then old school soul food. I got it, y'all. So anyway, until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.